My name is Nico Watimena from LSPR, Communication and Business Institute, Jakarta, Indonesia. For the Global Alliance Education and Training April 2020, I have picked a topic relevant to the situation we are facing today entitled Digital Age Demands New Approach to Crisis Communications. In this specific topic, we will discuss briefly about the changing of the rule of the game in crisis communication, the transformation of organization crisis plans, the power of social media, and the seven principles of communicating crisis. The dizzling speed of information coupled with public skepticism creates intense pressure on businesses, governments, and institutions. Hence, information transformation of their crisis communication strategies from traditional framework is necessary. Long gone are the days when print media and news program seen as a major source of information. With 3.5 billion users to date, the interest creates new Sorry, the internet creates new form of information platform that are easily accessible and shared to the connected mass public. Meaning that crisis today can be ignited spontaneously by any of the world's 3.5 billion internet users. More and more major organizations and companies transform their crisis communication plan to adapt with this rapidly growing internet trends. Crisis experts and communication professionals estimated that almost half of all major organizations and companies across the globe have updated their crisis plans. A study by Schultz in 2011 found that blogs and Twitter fit the normative ideal of two-way communication better than traditional media and simple websites. Social media are believed to be more interactive, authentic, and credible. These online platforms foster a more constructive dialogue, which led organizations to use social media more intensively to gain a stronger organization reputation. Perceived conventional human voice and communicated central idea on blogs correlate positive with relational outcomes such as trust, satisfaction, and commitment. It is also expected that crisis communication via social media to result higher organization reputation. Since social media can be shared more easily, it is very useful for crisis communication because more people will get the necessary messages faster. Leveraging social media is also essential in this information age because the message is likely to reach stakeholders in a way that they are receptive to and this strategy is beneficial to an organization reputation management. Today, comprehensive crisis communication requires participation from all stakeholders. Effective digital crisis communication plays an important role for many organizations. Reputation management. The rule of the game is changing and social media has become important and very effective in crisis communications. Effective crisis communication today also requires a sense of urgency, not just when the crisis erupts, but in the anticipation and planning process. It is necessary for organization to adapt with the latest technology development so that it can understand the most effective tools to communicate with the stakeholders. This crisis communication is a vital part in handling crisis that saves lives. One of the case study here in Indonesia is the 2013 Jakarta flood. The intensive use of social media combined with the strong information sharing culture in Jakarta has enabled the city to reduce the impact from the flood by enabling access to real-time flood information. In doing so, the population can prepare 
for the upcoming flow of water. The aforementioned case shows that it is essential that stakeholders can have reliable and fast information to make decisions in time of crisis. The digital era presents an array of new communication techniques, tools as well as new methods that institutions and organizations alike can leverage, especially in crisis situations, in ways that didn't exist a few years ago. Technological savvy is a must and proved to be very effective. In handling crisis communication, we need always to remember the seven principles of crisis communication. Tell the truth, prove it with action, listen to the stakeholders, manage for tomorrow, conduct PR as the whole organization depends on it, realize an organization's ca true character is experience on its people, patient and stay calm. And one of my favorite quotes in crisis communication is, in crisis be quick with facts and slow with the blame. That is all from me for this session. I really hope that this session can give a brief insights on how to manage your communication strategy in time of crisis. Thank you, keep healthy and stay safe.